Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the Stick Your Starter Crafting hosted by Dell Pope's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Everyone that's participating will be in the description box below. Please click on it and see what everyone has created. There's some noises going on, so please just hopefully you can hear my voice versus the noises in the background. This paper pad is the paper pad that I use. It is a Halloween paper pad that I got a couple of months ago. <laughs> By Park Lane, it's 180 sheets, and I thought it was die cuts with a view, but it explains something I'm going to talk about. But it has all of these prints, and it says, uh, it doesn't tell you how many are in there, but I would say like four sheets per, and I'm not going to really do a flip through, because I only pulled out a few pages. So I'm going to go over what I used. What I used, I used some glue because it's on my fingers. But um, the reason why I was, what I'll address first is the paper is kind of, it has the same texture that the paper from Hobby Lobby has, the inexpensive little cheapo paper. So when I cut it with my paper trimmer, I get the little um, jagged edges. But it's fine for what I made. Uh, as I told you all before in a previous video, you may get Halloween in February. We're in November still. Although I don't know what the month with. I'm sure I blinked and I don't know what's going on. So I use these papers. Very dark but pretty papers in my opinion. You could do this for a fall. This doesn't have to be quote unquote Halloween paper. It could definitely be something else. These little lines. And I think I only use four sheets of paper. Four 12 by 12 sheets of paper, maybe five. I can't remember. And this is a cut apart, literally a cut apart. One whole sheet of paper. Talk to the hand. I put a spell on you, those different things. I tried to go with some of the things that I would more I'm more comfortable with using for Halloween. Um, versus like the eyes and the hands and the balls and stuff like that. But it's not for me. The project is not for me. But I still wanted to have fun doing it. And this one says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. I've seen a stamp like that before. And this one says make magic. And this says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. So it's two two sheets. And I just cut it in half and cut it down. And I actually thought that the jaggedness, you know, the, the paper trail, the core paper would go good with the project. And these are more cut apart. So... Those are the things I use, and I always make a lot of scraps, but I cut them to 5 by 7 So what I'm going to do is I'll just make cards or something out of these pieces. And then I used a few stickers because it is the stickier, stickier side of crafting, right? I have a whole lot of things that I want to get done, but somewhere along the lines of mental health, I did not get it done. I use these stickers from Crafter Square. And I want to say that I've seen some of these same type of stickers at big box stores. Hobby Lobby, if not Michael's, for $4. So, yeah, better deal. And then I used um, a few stickers out of this Halloween collection. I do not. I have been to Michael's in the last couple of days. And I can't find them on sale. I would like to get them on sale because I kind of hard these because they're very, they're not cheap. As you can see, you know, even if you get them half off, I always try to get them half off. But they're not cheap stickers. I only get 24 pieces. So, yeah. And then I use this rub on. And I was thinking, are rub ons considered stickers? I mean, it sticks to something. But I didn't consider it to be like a quote unquote sticker. But I used three images out of there. And I'll show you those images. And then you all know that I'm like a garland fiend so I use this now only thing about the garland that would give me an issue over time would be these little holes but I'll show you how I um, did that if you haven't noticed if you can't tell by all the display stuff I made a book I'm into these right now I hope they're different for you but I'm just into them so this is the book and I found that making the spine a little bit different than the cover is always a pleasure for me all right, so this is the front, and again, this paper is so pretty. I like this particular page a lot. And then this is the spine. It kind of looks like concrete or something gone wrong. And so this is the cut apart that I just taped down, and then I glued, glued. I stuck a sticker, a spider sticker on there. And so this is a sticker. And so those two dots right there, and I put this little garland ghost, and it says the boo. I want it to be cute. Not too creepy and cute. So on the front, you know, I always try to put like a, where you can write your information. You are magic. And behind here, oh, I'm sorry. I use these cards 
and I think one of them had like a flower or something on it or and sign. And I was like, who are we telling Anne to? <laughs> so I could have used this one too. But anyway, I uh, I don't see it in here. I just glued this over and then it's another sticker. I, when I finished, I went back through the book to make sure that I had sticker, enough quote unquote stickers. And this one is a cut apart. It says stay creepy. And I just put this flying bat pumpkin, I don't know, on here. And these are some little tucks. And I feel figured the person that's receiving this, they can use these cards how they feel but this is the rub on. I thought this was really cool because, you know, you always see like some very feminine or dainty like lace gloves, especially like kind of scary movies. And a spider web comes out and gobbles you up. And then on the back, I just put this, even though I don't particularly care to put a skull in things. I like this whole little concept. I guess I'm into dome things right there. And it says perfect day. I thought that was really cool kind of like oxymoronic and then this little mouse I did him on there and then all this other back stuff I was going to put some things on here but I was like let's not go too crazy and then this had a flower and I just stuck the sticker on here because the leaf fit and this color kind of coordinates and today you know you can love today I thought that would be cool and it has like a different background which could you know you could use in some creepy things but I love this effect how it came out more so than anything else i've done when it comes to rub-ons because i always like oh i struggle with the rub-ons and then on this page is a sticker that just says happy hunting and i just tried to make sure that the colors coordinated pretty decent and then we have a bat right here and no fallout thankfully and then we had this little sticker right here which is a pumpkin and then this pumpkin is super cute. I know you can't really say pumpkins are cute in real life, right? But it's really cute and you only get one piece. And see, this is what I'm saying. Like you need three or four of these, especially if you're going to do the same book for, maybe you have kids and you want to do like a little trick or treat album. Maybe it's the first album. You only get one of those stickers. You only get one of each thing. So maybe I'll go to Michael's today. Today is the 27th and check it out. The closest Michael's to me all the Halloween stuff was gone but now that it's on sale maybe I can go to another Michael's I'm just trying to limit my access to the true Black Friday shoppers I used to be a true Black Friday shopper but now I'm like oh I'll leave it to the young folks and then last page is this crow holding his pumpkin for some candy he's looking over like what's going on and I, I felt like these would be good enough for pictures or you can write a note or something and in the back I've decided you know to always leave it kind of empty and the person that's receiving this could do whatever they choose to I wanted to make another one but I have more to I can do this next month you know another sticky aside to crafting for December but I'll probably do something more festive Christmas related or something not spooky. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please click on the description box and check out what everyone else has created. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope that everyone stands safe and you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Until next time, happy crafting.